YouTube. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're watching this, it is 4.34 for us right now. I am not driving. I am actually standing in or waiting in a line right now. Because I am hungry. I haven't eaten since 10, 11 o'clock this morning. So I'm hungry. <laughs> um, having a very late, almost dinner time lunch. Um, that's okay. That happens on Wednesdays, you guys. Like, every Wednesday, I don't eat lunch till like 4, 3, 4 o'clock. Isn't that right, Kierlin? Kierlin, isn't that right? Kierlin? Kierlin? Oh, she's looking at the menu. She's looking at the menu right there. It's like, colors! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> hey, Kierlin. So her PT was so funny today. So when, so Carolyn's been very cuddly lately, like, like grabbing your neck and like squeezing you. So she's been very cuddly. So her PT <laughs> was like, oh my gosh. Okay. Like, well, you don't have to do anything today. I'm not going to make you do anything today because you're just being so darn cute. Hold on. Hold on one second. People are looking at me. Okay. So anyways. So she's like, I would love to just steal your baby. And I was like, you can take her for a week. But then I kind of need her back after that. Because <laughs> like, you know, like I would like to catch all my sleep. So like, yeah, you can take her for a couple days maybe. Um, but after that, I'm going to need her back. So um, but she was like, I don't know if I would want to give her back. And I was like, yeah, well, it's illegal not to give somebody their baby back. <laughs> and then we kind of just both laughed. But, um, but yeah, so, um, it was funny because she's like, I'm not going to let, I'm not going to make you do anything today. You're done. You're, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I love this. This is, this is perfect. <laughs> um, she just loved the cuddles because Carolyn never cuddles her ever. So she's like, oh, I love this. Um. So, and she just thinks Carolyn's just so darn cute. Well, everybody thinks Carolyn's so darn cute. I'm like, yeah, wait till you meet her sassy side. <laughs> um, but yeah. So anyways, she did pretty good in PT today. This is gonna, oh, by the way, this is kind of gonna be a long kind of video because I have a lot to say, but, um, so, um, today in PT it was a kind of good, kind of bad, uh, she stood, but she was having a lot of problem with her head control or her neck, her neck muscles, her head, yeah, her neck control, head control, I don't know what you want to call it. But she was having a really hard time with her muscles in her, isn't that right, Carolyn? Were you having a hard time with your muscles in your neck or your head with your neck? Head and neck? Head and neck muscles, were you having a hard time holding your head up? So she was having a very hard time holding her head up. She held it up for a little bit, but then she put it back down. Like her head was getting really heavy for her. So I don't know. I think I might be talking to the doctor because I compare her. I compared her neck size to a, a girl that is a day older than her. She is the same weight, not the weight, but she is the same size as Carolyn. Like exactly the size she's in, she's in between two T and three T clothing, and she wears the same shoe size as Carolyn, and she's just in the same clothes and everything like that. She's a little bit more, she has a little bit more weight on her than Carolyn does, because Carolyn's twenty one pounds and this girl is twenty eight pounds, so not much heavier than Carolyn, but like pretty close to Carolyn's weight, but. Her neck is a lot bigger than Carolyn's, and I'm a little worried about the tracheotide situation. If that is like stunting her growth to her neck, I don't know if I've ever thought about this before, but I'm now thinking about it because I'm like, her neck is so freaking tiny compared to people that are her age. You okay? And like, she's getting the nutrition she needs. And she's getting the fats that she needs as well. Like, she'd be a lot fatter. 
she'd be a lot more chubby if like I was feeding her but <laughs> but you know because I like to make her happy and kids like candy and and fruit snacks and things like that I mean I would obviously give her the healthy stuff too try to make her eat that but like her neck is like extremely tiny it's like a stick it's like a it's like a kebab if you think about like fruits on a stick the fruits are big the stick is like skinny it's a stick so it's like a stick with a ball on the top it's crazy um so it's just like I don't know like it just makes me a little bit worrisome but anyways so I just am a little worried about that but I'm gonna talk to your doctor about it now back to PT she did really good she stood for a little bit and then uh, they did some reflex text tests on her because they wanted to do reflex tests before she sees the doctor on the 28th um, there because she hasn't seen the doctor over a year now for over a year uh, yeah for over a year now uh, maybe it's been a year like one year so she's gonna go see the doctor at Shriners again um, just to see where she's at and then they're going to do um, so they wanted uh, my RPT to do reflex tests on her every Wednesday until the doctor appointment. So we did reflex test today and her reflexes are on point on where they should be. And she's not delayed on any of her reflexes. So that's good. Um, and then her, um, and then we did some standing and we did some sitting. When they did the sitting, she kind of lifted up her butt like she was a gonna stand but she didn't totally stand um kind of like in a squatting position like if you're gonna do a squat you know so um she had her sitting down and then she went to raise her butt up just to see if she would put weight on her feet as if she was going to stand and she did so that is really really good because that is the first part of standing is to be like, oh, I'm going up. I better put, I better bear my weight on my legs. So that's really good. Um, and she got, she got that kind of reflex from the jumper. So, um, so that's good. Um, 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 um what else? Um, the doctor is gonna see her for AFOs. I don't know if I told you guys that. I'm pretty sure I did. Um. And I showed you what the AFOs. If you haven't seen my past videos, um, I have a video, and I'll make a video of the AFOs, and it'll be it'll be titled AFO, so you can see them. But I have one of my past videos, and one of my past videos, I have the pictures of the AFOs. When I know more about the AFOs, I will make a video about it, and it'll be called AFO. Um. So that'll be that. Now, um, I think that's it. Uh, so we won't be getting the AFOs on the 28th when her doctor appointment is. But he, we're gonna, he's gonna look at her feet and see what kind of she needs. Um, and then if she, if he feels like she needs them, what he'll do is he'll take her size, he'll measure her feet out. And then he'll send a referral in to get AFOs and that way he'll already have her size and stuff like that. I will make a little bit of a video um, when we go to the doctor appointment that day. Until then, <laughs> um, I'm just going to keep on working on her sitting upright. Um, at this point, her PT said that she thinks she will stand before she sits up by herself. She thinks she's going to be standing before she sits up by herself. Um, she can sit up by herself. She just, she needs to feel like there's something, like, she needs to make sure that there is something there that's going to catch her in the back. Because she gets really nervous when there's nothing in the back of her. If there's no safety net, she won't sit up by herself. She will just totally not be okay with that. And she could pretty much sit up by herself, but she said before she gets comfortable sitting up by herself, she's probably going to be standing before that happens. 
That's what she said she thinks. She said, I'm not, don't quote me on that because I don't know, but because Carolyn sometimes surprises me. She said, but, and she said she's made really good progress though because before when we first got there, she would sit, um, when she would sit up, she would like be scrunched over or she would fall over on her side like she never wanted to sit up and she didn't have a lot of head control either at that time so she said she progressed with her head control her head control is like perfecto now she never wants to lay her head down unless she's going to sleep um or frustrated um and her back is perfectly straight now Every time she says her back is perfectly straight, she never scrunches. She never scratches over anymore. She's never slumped. So that's really good. Anyways, that's all we have for you today. Thank you for watching. Um, if you're new, my name is Martina. This is Carolyn. This is my time distribute journey. Um, if you are new, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get notified for all the new videos I post. I post every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I try to make them as short as I can, but sometimes they get a little long because I sometimes I have a lot to say. And sometimes they get a lot of news in one day. So that's that. Um, if you're not new, you know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up, like us, and we'll talk to you later.